Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to talk about the membranes and ligaments of the larynx and then we're going to look at how the mucosa folds over the ligaments to form the vocal cords. So we're looking here anteriorly at the larynx and you can see the trachea below and the hyoid bone at the top. So the ligaments of the larynx can be separated into intrinsic and extrinsic ligaments. So the extrinsic ligaments are ligaments which connect the larynx to other structures. So ligaments which connect the larynx to the hyoid bone and ligaments which connect the larynx to the trachea below. So the intrinsic ligaments are the ligaments which connect the individual cartilages of the larynx together. So we'll first take a look at the extrinsic ligaments. So these are quite, quite simple. So the larynx attaches to the hyoid above so you can see this big membrane here connecting the thyroid cartilage to the hyoid bone. So this is called the thyrohyoid membrane. And there's two things to mention about this membrane. So anteriorly it's thickened. So where I'm showing you here, the thyrohyoid ligament is thickened to form the median thyrohyoid ligament. And laterally, if you remember from the last tutorial, where the membrane attaches from the superior horn of the thyroid cartilage to the hyoid bone, it is thickened laterally to form the lateral thyrohyoid ligament. So you can also see this little hole in the membrane. So this is for um, this is for the superior laryngeal vessels and uh, nerve to enter. So that lig the thyrohyoid ligament connects the thyroid to the hyoid. Um, and now we'll look at the ligament connecting the epiglottis to the hyoid bone. So this is called the hyoepiglottic ligament. So finally there's a ligament connecting the lowest cartilage, the cricoid cartilage, to the trachea. So this ligament is called the cricotracheal ligament. So next we've got the intrinsic ligaments. So these ligaments are important in forming the cavity of the larynx itself and they're structurally important ligaments um, and they're important in the function of the larynx. So they're a little bit more complicated so I'll try and explain them as best I can. So just like I, uh, I mentioned the thickenings of the thyrohyoid membrane, you've got thickenings of these other two membranes called the cricothyroid membrane and the quadrangular membrane and these thickenings form ligaments which are important because combined with the folds of mucosa they form the vocal cords. So we'll just take a look at these now. So the first ligament I'm going to talk about is the cricothyroid ligament. So the cricoth cricothyroid ligament is also referred to as the cricothyroid membrane. So we're looking anteriorly at the larynx here and the cricothyroid membrane attaches to the arch of the cricoid. So you can see this narrow arch here of the cricoid. It attaches um, onto that ring. And you'll be able to see it like this if you're looking at it anteriorly. So the model doesn't show this ligament. But if you're looking at it anteriorly, the ligament sits here. But it actually attaches inside the thyroid cartilage. So we'll take a we'll take a cross section of the thyroid and look at its attachment inside. So if I just rotate the model round, so from a lateral view you'll be able to see the cricothyroid ligament attaching like this. And now what I've done here is I've taken a cross section of the larynx. So it's, we're, it's a basically a median sagittal section. So we've chopped right through the middle of these structures, and we're looking at it from the inside. So just to, just to make sure you're orientated, um, this is the lateral aspect of the thyroid, so you can see the broad lamina. This is the beginning of the narrow arch of the cricoid cartilage anteriorly. So this little space here would contain the cricothyroid membrane or ligament. So we're, gonna, we're switching to the inside view. So you saw how the ligament would attach if you're looking at an anterior view, but on the inside, it, it, the ligament attaches like this so it attaches to the inside of the thyroid and at the top this is the important point the the ligament has a free 
free margin and this free margin is thickened to form the vocal ligament. So inside the thyroid it attaches anteriorly and it also attaches to the vocal process of the arytenoid cartilage. So there is an, a free upper margin of the cricothyroid membrane and this upper margin is thickened to form the vocal ligament which attaches from the arytenoid for vocal process of the arytenoid cartilage to inside the thyroid. So if we just zoom in to this model you can see you can see the arytenoid cartilage here and it's the bit sticking out is called the vocal process and attaching to it is this ligament so the membrane is not shown here but the thickened upper margin is so this is the vocal process sorry the vocal um, ligament so I've brought back the um, the thyroid cartilage in full and if we rotate to a superior view you can see the arytenoid cartilages posteriorly and their the, the vocal ligament attaching from the vocal process to just inside the thyroid cartilage. So two last points to mention with regard to the cricothyroid membrane. So in the in the midline it's actually thickened to form the cri median cricothyroid ligament and then the lateral parts of the uh, cricothyroid ligament or membrane are actually referred to as the conus elasticus so these lie close under the mucous membranes and they, they, they are what I showed you, so they extend from the superior border of the cricoid to the inferior margin of the vocal ligaments which is the upper margin of the cricothyroid membrane. So you've got the conus elasticus laterally and you've got the median cricothyroid ligament which is this thickening anteriorly in the midline. Okay so the next membrane we've got is the quadrangular membrane so if I just rotate the model round, I can try and describe the quadrangular membrane to you. So I've just got rid of the thyroid cartilage and we're going to take a closer look um, at what we've got here. So the quadrangular membrane attaches to the lateral surface of the epiglottis and it attaches to the arytenoid cartilage and the corniculate cartilage above it and also it attaches to the thyroid cartilage above the point where the vocal ligament attaches to the thyroid cartilage. So I'm just going to draw on the, the quadrangular membrane. So it's got this attachment to the corniculate and arytenoid cartilage and then it's got this free lower margin which attaches above the point of where the vocal ligament attaches to the inside of the thyroid cartilage. So it attaches from the lateral aspect of the epiglottis and then it attaches to the arytenoid and the, um, the corniculate cartilage and then it has this free lower margin which attaches to the inside of the thyroid cartilage. So this free lower margin, as you might guess, is thickened and this thickening forms a ligament called the vestibular ligament. So this ligament attaches the superior depression on the anterolateral surface of the arytenoid cartilage and it attaches in, inside the thyroid cartilage above the point of attachment where the vocal ligament attaches. So we've now seen two ligaments formed by thickenings of the free margins of two membranes. So the cricothyroid membrane attaches along the arch of the cricoid and to the vocal process of the arytenoid cartilage and it has this free margin which attaches from the vocal process to the inside of the thyroid cartilage. So you've got a thickened upper border of this cricothyroid membrane forming the vocal ligament and you've got this thickened lower border of the quadrangular membrane attaching from the superior depression of the anterolateral surface of the arytenoid cartilage to the inside of the thyroid cartilage. So we've got the vocal ligament below and the vestibular ligament above. 
both of which attach to the arytenoid and to the inside surface of the thyroid cartilage. So I've just stuck two pins into the this so this pin here you can see is stuck into the superior depression on the arytenoid cartilage and the other pin is inserted into the um, inside of the thyroid cartilage at about the thyroid angle. So the vestibular ligament runs between these two pins. So the significance of the, uh, the ligaments that I've described to you, the vestibular ligament and the vocal ligament, is that they form the vocal cords. So I've just removed the thyroid cartilage again and I'll just show you um, what I mean. So the vestibular ligament is above and to the side of the vocal ligament. So the mucosa of the larynx folds around these ligaments to form vocal folds and vestibular folds. And these folds are the vocal cords. So the, the fold of mucosa that wraps around the vestibular ligament is called the vestibular fold, and this is the false vocal cord. And the fold of mucosa which um, wraps around the vocal ligament is called the vocal fold, and this is the true, true vocal cord. So you've got this mucous membrane which hangs down from the side of the epiglottis, and it folds, so remember the, the first, the vestibular ligament is above and to the side of the uh, vocal ligament, so it folds inwards under this ligament, and then it comes back, and then it folds again under the, the, the vocal ligament, and then it continues down. So this first fold is the vestibular fold, and is called the false vocal cord, and this second fold is the, um, it forms the true vocal cords and is called the vocal fold. Okay, so that was the ligaments of the larynx. So you've got the extrinsic ligaments which attach the larynx to other structures, so the trachea and the hyoid bone, and they're quite straightforward. And then you've got the intrinsic ligaments which attach the, the cartilages of the larynx to each other. So you've got the quadrangular membrane and you've got the cricothyroid membrane. So the important thing to remember is that the upper, free upper border of the cricothyroid membrane forms the vocal ligament and the free lower border of the quadrangular membrane forms the vestibular ligament. And you've got the folds of mucosa which fold around these ligaments to form the false and true vocal cords. So you've got the vestibular fold which folds around the vestibular ligament which forms the false vocal cord and then you've got the vocal fold which folds around the vocal ligament to form the true vocal cord. So that's a little bit about the vocal cords, membranes and ligaments of the larynx.